Hello, uh, my name is Jeff Dean and uh, I build large-scale computer systems here at Google. I've been working in a group of uh, people recently that's trying to apply deep learning techniques to a number of different areas across uh, Google's product, including speech recognition, object recognition, and language understanding. It's a very laborious thing to sort of hand engineer those kinds of features. And so it's better to have a system that can automatically learn what features are most important to, to detect whether or not this image has a cat in it. Deep learning is a technique where you go from very raw kinds of data and automatically build up higher and higher level features. Areas where we're farthest along in deploying this sort of technique is in the area of speech recognition. So when you speak into your Android or iPhone to uh, Google using voice search, a lot of that speech recognition system is using deep learning techniques to go from raw waveforms to what we think are likely sort of parts of words, uh, phonemes they're called. And from that, we can then try to stitch those together to form what we think are the most likely uh, utterance that the user made, like what have they actually said. And so we have a focus on some things that are short term and we believe can improve products now in a few months and also very long term things like we'd really like to be able to do a better job of language understanding. We can actually apply you know, thousands of, of computer processors to the task of recognizing a single user's utterance for a brief period. So you get this massive parallelism and the ability to apply very expensive computational models and you still get to have the device in your pocket. One of the things that I think is interesting about this field of deep learning is that it allows computers to learn to represent high-level concepts from very low-level data automatically. And I think that's a really powerful metaphor for learning about the world. It's how people sort of from a very young age learn about the world as they make observations and they build higher and higher level uh, sort of models of how the world works. And I think if we can allow computers to do similar things, that would be a pretty powerful contribution.